Banana, 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 tick, got a pie. Banana, 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 tick, got a pie. Hiya, I'm Lindsay, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back with another New Metal Monday where I'm talking about my favourite New Metal releases of the week. They're not in any particular order whatsoever, this isn't a ranking video, um, I'm just listing them in the order that I've listened to them in. So this week I have six brand new albums and I'm just going to jump straight in. So the, for the first album that I have on my list here I wrote a full track by track review of for this day in metal and I'll include my full review in the description box below, but that was Methane Kill It With Fire. This is a self-released album and it is a proper groove metal, thrash metal album. If any of you are fans of Slayer, Creator, Pantera, any kind of groove thrash metal band, this is definitely an album that you need to check out. It's incredibly catchy and really, really groovy, but the guitar work in this and the solos especially are absolutely outstanding. There's one track in particular called Accuser that they actually took a sound bite from a very famous viral YouTube video of some blonde religious woman going absolutely off her head in the middle of a Walmart, I think it is. I've actually linked that viral YouTube video that they've used in their track in my full review that I did for this day in metal. It's a bit of a weird track, but it's very tongue-in-cheek and it is quite funny, but it's really, really bouncy like a thrash metal track should be. But this is a really fun album. It's only about half an hour long. Like I've said before, it's incredibly catchy. It's really, really groovy. Vocals are really, really raw and the guitar work is absolutely outstanding. Some of those solos and riffs are absolutely out of this world, so definitely check the album out. Favourite tracks of the album are Accuser, Shock and Awe and Down in the Gutter. So next up I'm kind of venturing into the symphonic black metal territory with the band And Oceans, as in gardens, so in tombs, which was released via Seasons of Mist. This is proper Finnish symphonic black metal. It's very dramatic, it's very atmospheric, so naturally I am all over that because that gets the dopamine receptors going for me. It's a good balanced mix of melody and heaviness. It's got a couple of light touches of progressive elements in there and the vocals are incredibly brutal. So if you like your very dramatic, very atmospheric, melodic black metal, definitely check this album out. Favourite tracks of this album are the title track, Within Fire and Crystal, and Wine Into Water. So the next album that I've got here I saw blow up all over metal Twitter. There was a huge amount of people that went absolutely insane for this record. Released via Armageddon label, and that's Malleus, The Fires of Heaven. Now this is black and speed thrash metal and the kind of vibe that I got from this album is it's the kind of record that you want to listen to on a really cold frosty morning which is all the time for me because I live in Scotland. It's some epic thrash speed metal with some heavy old school black metal vibes with chugging riffs, flying solos and again really really brutal vocals. This was a really fun album but it's also quite atmospheric at the same time. Favourite tracks of this album are the title track Prophetess and The Dark Sun Rises. Okay, so next up we're kind of venturing out of the death metal, black metal kind of vibe and we're going into the kind of doom metal territory. So released via Shadow Kingdom Records, I have Iron Void 4. The best way I can possibly describe this particular doom metal record is if Black Sabbath and Cathedral had a love child and this was the result. There's some heavy Black Sabbath elements in here, but the band also make it sound like themselves as well, so it's not just like a carbon copy of Black Sabbath. It's a bit grungy and a bit groovy in places, but it is most definitely old school doom metal. I really enjoyed this. It was really easy listening. A lot of the time I am quite fussy when it comes to doom metal records. I can get quite overwhelmed or quite bored by them, depending on what level you're talking about here. But in this one in particular, I actually found it quite light and easy to listen to. It was really enjoyable. So favourite tracks of this album are Grave Dance, Pandora's Box and Lords of the Wasteland. Okay, so next up is another self-released album. And we're kind of venturing back into the melodic black death metal scene again, and that's Malice Divine Everlasting Ascendancy. Now one thing that really stood out to me in this particular record is the absolutely blistering blast beats. The drumming in this record is absolutely insane. It's really catchy and really melodic in places, but it is incredibly heavy and once again more brutal vocals, which seems to be the running theme this week. But some of the solos in this are absolutely insane. Favourite tracks of this album are Apparitions of Conquest, Usurping the Paragon and Reclaimed Strength. 
Okay, so last on my list, but by no means least, I have another album that quite a lot of people went mental over. And this is proper old school 90s style death metal that has a lot of 70s and 80s horror theme elements. And that's Seven Doors, Feast of the Repulsive Dead. Now, like I said, this is proper 90s old school death metal with a lot of 70s, 80s horror themed in it. But it's by no means gimmicky at all. It is actually done very, very artistically. A lot of really intricate solos in this, some brutal vocals, once again, insane drumming. But despite the fact the vocals are quite brutal, they are quite distinguishable at the same time. And this is a one-man band as well, so that's really impressive. Favourite tracks of this album are the title track, The Morbid Mortician, and I'll Swallow Your Soul. So those were my top six metal albums of the week. Comment down below to let me know what you think of them if you haven't heard of them before. And if there's anything that I've missed that you think I should check out from this week's releases, let me know and I'll definitely check them out. If you could subscribe, like, comment, share my page, I really do appreciate your support. And I'll see you on Thursday in my next video. Mm -hmm.